Hey guys, I hope that you all are having a wonderful and blessed day today or tonight. We are going to Aldi's to do some grocery shopping, more like meat shopping, because I have decided to try the carnivore, keto carnivore again. And due to the comments in my in the couple of my last videos i really appreciate all the feedback and support that you are giving me for my autoimmune disease so i am basically pretty new to my autoimmune disease i'm still researching a lot about shojin's disease and what it actually means and what how i can manage it Obviously, I do not want to be managing it with RX medicines or anything like that. I want to go about it in a natural way. And if this is the first time you're watching, welcome to Journey to Health and Wellbeing with, with Sharon Marie. I'm Sharon Marie. I should have said that at the start. I appreciate you guys watching. So I took into consideration that uh, it's been a while since I've done carnivore and I did feel pretty good doing carnivore before. Um, so basically that could just consist of bacon, eggs, cheese and nothing else. That is it. No artificial sweeteners, no nightshade vegetables, which I did look that up. Thank you, Deb. For mentioning the, mentioning the nightshade vegetables which is tomatoes obviously potatoes I don't do being keto eggplant capsicum bell pepper capsicums bell pepper we say capsicum in Australia I'm so, still sort of saying the old um, terms of, of Australia so I'm going to stay away from all of those and I didn't even think that tomato tomatoes was anti-inflammatory so I have to start looking into what is causing like my my anti-inflammatory effects with my hands and my wrists and my arms and my shoulders and my neck pretty much everywhere that I have uh, anti-inflammatory flare-ups I have to kind of figure out what I'm eating maybe what I'm eating that's causing that or is it just a natural effect that it's in my genes and it's in my blood and DNA and I'm dealing with that too so maybe making some changes to what I'm eating to dietary and nutritional things that that I'm that I'm having might might do the trick I'm going to give it another go so basically, I think I'm, I'm, I really believe like heavy whipping cream and uh, cheese and butter and things like that may affect me. So I'm just going to sort of maybe just sort of go very down on them or just not have them at all. I don't know. What do you guys think? So I really need some feedback because like I said, I'm totally new to the whole autoimmune disease and my mom... She has had her arthritis her arthritis for over 30 years. She started when she was 30. She'll be 60 in July and she's had it all her life. But just because you've had it all your life doesn't mean that you know everything about it. So it really helps having a support system like you guys, my subscribers, my close friends, the keto community to help me with this because you, even though you do your own research, it's helpful to talk to others that are going through the same thing, whether it's a different autoimmune disease that they're battling and what's worked for them may work for you. So sometimes we have to be open-minded as to what we're doing may be working for us, but if we talk to others that are having effects through autoimmune diseases or other kinds of diseases if they talk to us and say well this has worked for me and these are the macros that I'm doing and I think that maybe you should change something up don't just like not hear them what I'm trying to say is hear them out because sometimes it it helps to change things up sometimes it helps to hear those things uh, from other people from other people because sometimes your mind is so foggy that you can't think straight or straight for yourself so I really really appreciate you guys um, coming forward and posting in the comments below what what could help me um, 
And as for the core AO, I will be getting in touch with Terry and seeing what uh, I can get through her with supplements and stuff, uh, ordering it with a wholesale price. If you go to her Facebook page, it's a Facebook group. I will link it all in the description box below. And if you go to her website and you check her website out and have a look around and see if you like it, if you inbox her and say what you like about the website she will give you 10 percent off anything that you wish to buy whether it's health whether it's for nails beauty foot soaks things like that i am going to be doing more videos about benny you i've actually thought about being a consultant for them now i obviously i wear adhesive nails these are not my own nails but i really do like what they're all about they're all about health and nutrition and they have a lot of supplements and they are three companies under the one umbrella so i'm thinking of maybe i might might think about selling these products if you guys were would be interested in buying them from me or trying them out um and terry is such a lovely and kind lady sometimes she'll send you out free samples to try before you actually buy the the products so you're able to sample them before you buy them which a lot of companies will not do i have been given the go sticks which i'm going to show you in another video it's the go m sticks and they're basically like your energy drink in a can but it's you add water you add it to a bottle of 16 ounce water just shake it up and it gives you energy and it's much 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 better then all that junk that are in the bang drinks um, that are in the monster drinks that we keto users use, we think that they're good for us, but they're not. They're not good for our kidneys. We've got to flush that out. There's the little boy. He's he's barking. Sorry, but he is part of my life now. Um, so yeah. So if you go to Terry's Facebook group. And if you join it, she will accept you into the group. You'll be able to see what's on sale for the month of June. And she has sales all nearly, I think, every month on particular products. Main, mainly, um, there is a there is one going on right now it's a uh, trim and burn which is which is for weight loss obviously i'm all about keto so i'm not really kind of into the path of weight loss uh, supplements with that but there are certain um things that are on sale each month there's also a subscription box i believe that comes out every month you it's mainly nail lacquers and I believe they're actually been giving a free product every month. So if you're interested, click in the link below and let me know if you have purchased uh, Beanie You Better, which means Better You. Beanie is from France, which means Better and then You, Better You. So, you know, I am really happy to support companies like that because um, I've known Terry for a while and I know that she suffers with uh, autoimmune disease and arthritis too and it's just really helped me to talk to her and taking the Core AO for a week has helped. But um, I probably most likely will order it at the end of the month. That's when I get paid. So at the end of the month, I'll be ordering it again. And hopefully I will get the 10% off. So it should be around $30, $35, which makes it a roughly about a dollar a day. So how, how many of you can say that you can get something that's going to help you with your autoimmune disease, it's going to help you with your arthritis for a dollar a day. Like you just, you can't get anything like that for a dollar a day. So that's a really, really good, good deal. So if you're into those uh, drinks, the Core AO sticks, if you're interested, please let me know and I can add you, I can even add you to the group. Um, 
but yeah, so she actually lives in North Carolina, same as I do, but I have never met her before in person, but I have spoken to her on um, Facebook and she's a very lovely lady. So I'm sure she'll be able to help you out with whatever that you want to order. I have been thinking actually of starting to be a consultant where I can work from home. I like... I like jewellery, so I have looked into, this is Origami Owl. It's got little owls on it, and these are my own earrings, but I did add a little owl charm to it. I had thought about Origami Owl. Um, there was another company, I think it, were, it was my 31. They were $1 to be a consultant to start your own consultancy. So I've been thinking about doing that. I really have. I'd love to work from home, and when my mum comes over, that means that I don't have to leave my full-time job or my part-time job. I don't have to leave the house. I can be working from home. I can choose my own hours. So if I'm having a bad day or a rough day with my health, I don't even have to get up in the mornings and go, and go to work like a nine to five hour a day. Um, obviously, you do have your own website that you have to keep up monthly with the um the cost of that so I have to kind of look into things to sort of see is it going to be worth it for me who's going to buy it from me I did just join a new well I haven't joined a new church but I'm I'm getting involved with a new church so you know it's sort of hard when you don't have connections and people that you can sell it to but I thought you know hey I'd mention it here on youtube and if i do do anything like that you'll be seeing product reviews and and um what specials i have and all that i think it'll be really fun i really think that it'll be really good for me because i need to do something i just need to do something for myself i've been kind of suffering a little bit of depression lately i guess with my mum being gone that makes me really sad not having any other extra family over here to help um is really hard too it's just my husband and i and our little pup and i just wanted to tell you all something pretty special ollie lost his birth toothy last night he was playing around with it on the floor and I could hear it and it was like a pebble noise and I thought, what is that? So I picked it up and it was his tooth. So it's one up here. It's not a canine teeth, but it is um, it is very little. I have put it away. So maybe I'll show you in another video. Very, very small, very white. Um, so yeah, that's the first of many. And he's actually pretty advanced, like usually puppies don't lose their teeth until they're about six months old so he's five and a half months old he'll be six months in two more weeks and um I'm so happy that I was able to keep it because I have one of Charlie's one of Charlie's very last baby teeth we never went through the whole puppyhood with Charlie because he was six months when he came to us. So he had gone through all of that, all of the potty training and everything, which he never got, um, but we still loved him. And so, yeah, that was a big thing for our little baby boy to lose a tooth. And I told his Nana, it didn't happen when she was here, obviously, but um, if he does lose more and I can get to keep them, then I'll put one away for her. And I was thinking of like doing a little baby book, a little baby book with photos that we've taken of him and we can never take enough, enough photos and he's getting a haircut. He's getting his very first haircut on the 19th, which is next week, next Wednesday. But before he gets a haircut, his daddy has to go to the dentist. So hopefully everything at the dentist goes fine. Um, so mummy will be home with Ollie uh on monday all by myself which i have been before and he's just he's just fine he grizzles for his daddy a little bit but yeah he's chewing on these rawhide bones so i think that's what kind of has loosened it and the other night he was a little bit sick um and that that's how they can get they can be just like babies and feel sick now if you're a puppy owner 
or if you didn't know this, Orogel is not good to give to them, not good to put on their teeth because that has anesthetic in it and it can make them very sick and it can be very toxic for puppies. So actually I was looking into a more natural thing. It's called clove oil that you can put on their gums that will make them not feel as sore. So I'm going to look into seeing where I can buy that, probably Amazon something like that but yeah today I'm feeling pretty good I was in bed for a while today but when I got up and I took sort of I've been taking um prescription naprosins yes you want to come up here don't you um uh <laughs> prescription nap naprosins that mum bought over from Australia I took them and Today, just sort of just been eating um, taco meat I made last night with Parker Pastures meat that I won in a giveaway. And silly me put the Rotel in, which is tomatoes and the little chilies. Um, and it was so spicy. Um, now my stomach's upset and acid reflux and things. But I ate that last night and I ate it today. And Randy's sort of been eating what I'm making. So hopefully I'm trying to get him to eat keto too because it's going to be really good for him to get back to keto um, because he's having lo he's got low iron now and he has to have vitamin C, which it uh, helps absorb the iron better. So doing the carnivore di diet is going to be really good, the carnivore keto um, is going to be really good for the both of us. So tonight we're going Aldi's. It closes at 8. We're going to leave here soon. It's roughly about 6. Want to get some steaks. Want to get some ground beef. Want to get some uh, anything red. I guess it's anything red. I don't think it's sort of anything white like chicken or pork chops. Uh, probably have to. I think I've got bacon but probably not enough. So I might get some more bacon uh, I think hamburgers and things like that. Anything red, any red kind of meat. Let me know if you've done the carnivore keto uh, diet before. How long have you done it for? What has it helped with? Uh, have you tested ketones? Does it put you into a high state of ketosis? I did it a long, long time ago. So it's like I need to re-educate myself. Out. And I thought I might also include intermittent fasting as well because I haven't intermittent fasted for a long time I kind of do fast from like we eat really early so four o'clock is my last meal four or five o'clock at night is my last meal and then 12 the next day is my first meal so I guess that's that's doing some kind of fasting um, and fasting can be really healing for people with inflammatory diseases as well and I'm trying to keep up with my water but I'm still just not very good at that even though this is like my third year into keto I have never mastered all that water and especially with going out it's really hard because <laughs> I manage to want to use the bathroom when I when I'm out and I can't I just oh I don't know I just hate using public toilets so I'm hoping that um that yeah the carnivore will help me and I'm hoping that I can figure out some ways of doing recipes that will be good for Randy and I to eat and hopefully like I'm, I'm still obviously I've got to lose about 45 to 50 pounds more I'm focusing I think I'm more focusing not so much on the weight loss as much as I am the the healing part with keto now I think I'm really got to be I've got to be strict stricter with myself um because I'm noticing that yeah, I'm just not feeling great. I'll be 37 this year. So getting up there in age, uh, I know I'm still young. But um, oh, I just, I don't want to be in the same position that my mum 
my mum has been in, so I've got to do something about it. I was thinking of seeing my doctor, but if I can kind of get work my way around this with the diet and getting the chronic fatigue under under control, which I am, I feel that I am. Today's probably the first day that I haven't felt like complete crap. Um, but yeah, and I have it like I've only actually had one coffee today, other than four coffees. So anyway, I better get moving. Thank you so much for watching and listening and having a chat with me. And I'll see you all very soon. Take care. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I appreciate your support. Bye for now.